Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe it for the daily videos. What is pleurisy? When you breathe, the thin tissue that line your lungs and chest wall called the pleura rub together. Typically, this is not a problem because the tissue is satiny and generates no friction. However, when this tissue is inflamed or infected, it becomes irritated and swollen causing significant pain. This condition is known as pleurisy or pleuritis. What are the symptoms of pleurisy? The chief symptom associated with pleurisy is a sharp, stabbing pain when you breathe. Fever, chills and loss of appetite are also possible symptoms depending on the condition that's causing the pleurisy. Additional symptoms of pleurisy include pain on one side of your chest, pain in your shoulders and back, shallow breathing to avoid feeling pain, headaches, joint pain, muscle aches, shortness of breath. What causes pleurisy? Viral infections are the most common cause of pleurisy. Other causes of pleurisy include bacterial pneumonia, bronchitis, tuberculosis, chest wounds, rib fractures, blunt trauma to the chest wall, chest or lung tumors, blood clots in the arteries of your lung, also called pulmonary emboli, immune system disorders such as systemic lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, sickle cell anemia, heart surgery complications, lung cancer, lymphoma, mesothelioma which is a cancer caused by asbestos exposure, fungal or parasitic infections. Diagnosing Pleurisy The first priority in diagnosing pleurisy is to determine the location and cause of the inflammation or swelling. Chest X-rays, blood test, thoracentesis, CT scan, ultrasound, biopsy, thoracoscopy. Antibiotics for bacterial infection, over-the-counter medicines including aspirin or Bayer, ibuprofen or Advil or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs prescription, pain and cough medication that may contain codeine, medications to break up any blood clots or large collections of pus and mucus, bronchodilators via metered dose inhaler devices such as those used to treat asthma, individuals with large amount of fluid in their lungs or pleural effusions might have to stay in the hospital with a drain tube in the chest until the fluids drain adequately. Thank you all. Have a nice day.